Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're just gonna briefly talk about Ethereum. So if you guys like the content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Check out the Telegram channel in the description below, and feel free to check out the premium list if you want access to you know, more of the data science models and, and whatnot that I provide on a live, um, or live access of that. So, you know, this is just gonna be a super short video. We had a more extensive video yesterday looking at the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio and how it performs with respect to Bitcoin at the 20 week and the 50 week. Since I just showed that yesterday, I'm not gonna show it again. You guys get the idea. But you know, just as an update in general, this move we anticipated, we said, you know, as long as Bitcoin stays above that uh, the 50 week and the 20 week, then we would anticipate an imminent move coming from Ethereum. Um, and it looks like we have seen exactly that. So it has moved significantly with respect to Bitcoin uh, in, you know, just in the last day or so. Um, and we'll continue to, to watch this. If we look at the weekly chart, uh, you know, you can see, uh, seems pretty bullish to me. Uh, is, and, and the only thing I think from here, the only thing that is gonna keep Ethereum from continuing to launch uh, to the $300 region, the only thing, or the primary thing I think that would keep it from getting there would be that if you just start seeing Bitcoin retrace, you know, back down to, you know, first below the 50 week, so back to 88, and then if it goes to 82, then of course this is going to put a damper on on this Ethereum move that's that's trying to form. Uh, but on the on the other hand, if if Bitcoin continues to do its thing, continues to defy the bulls that continue to say that it's going to go to $1,800 or $3,500, which are pretty arbitrary. I mean, I get. I get the reasons that people have. I just think they're ridiculous. Um, so why 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 bank on sitting out of the market when you could continue? You know, when you could have been buying from thirty eight hundred dollars onward and then already seeing a two to three x on your investment. So, um, anyways, that's my general thoughts on that. Uh, I think you know you can see we, we've started moving moving up here. I, I mean, I'm sure that some, that some people will will point out you know maybe this trend line or something, but Ultimately, if Bitcoin if Bitcoin stays bullish, I'm fairly bullish uh, with regards to Ethereum. And if you look at the USD valuation, I mean, it's still it's still just moving up. Nothing has really changed here. And even since even since our low at the bottom of the candle, you know, we're up over a hundred percent in the last two months. And Ethereum is one. Of, it's my second biggest holding in the cryptocurrency space. And I'm very excited for what the next market cycle holds for it. Again, as I said yesterday, purchasing an Ethereum at $200 is going to seem like a distant memory at some point in the next three years when I think Ethereum is going to go to the several thousand dollar uh, regime. And you'll look back and think like, man, I, you know, I, I took that calculated risk back then and it paid off. Or maybe it won't, but you know, at least we assume on here that it, it will pay off and that's the reason why we're covering Ethereum on the channel. So again, stay, stay diligent with your with, with how you think about it. Don't, you know, don't just get, don't FOMO into the market. Um, just stick to your plan. Uh, it's business as usual. If you wanna, if you wanna check out the premium list uh, to get more access to information, especially about Ethereum and Bitcoin and Cardano and a few others, then check out that premium list. And in fact, this week, we're gonna be talking a lot more about uh, Ethereum and Cardano, looking at, for Ethereum, looking at, statistically speaking, the best hour of the day to buy Ethereum. We even talked uh, a couple weeks ago or last week, I can't remember, on the best day of the week to buy Ethereum. And we're gonna continue diving in there. So basically it's just nuggets of information you can use when you're looking at the macro scale. It's not for day traders, so I need to warn you, if you're, if you're looking for day trading advice, this is not that. This is for the macro scale, for people who want to have pieces of information that have the, you know, that they stick to these certain plans, then over the course of several years, then it's likely going to, to, to work out, especially, I mean, based on historical data. And we know that historical data doesn't necessarily mean anything, but we can at least use it to inform our decisions. And so far, I think um, the results have, have been uh, speaking for themselves in the, in the sense that just the stuff you guys see with 20 week, I think it is playing out uh, fairly well. So I hope you guys like the content. Uh, again, subscribe to the channel at the very least so you can uh, follow the channel as we continue on marching through the market cycle. And also check out Telegram, uh, the public Telegram channel. We have almost 3,500 people. And if you want to join that, we would love to have you. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.